Hello and welcome to this week's review. Before I get started, I just want to say thanks to all those who watched last week's review and a special thanks to all those who liked and commented. Now on to the review. This week's review is The Kid Who Would Be King. Directed by Joe Cornish, the film follows Alexander, played by Louis Circus, as he leads a band of young knights aided by the ancient wizard Merlin on a quest to destroy an ancient evil set to return. Before I get started, I also want to say that this, you have to know that this is a kid's film. If you go into this film expecting deep, meaningful conversations or high, intense action, you're not going to get it. It's a mi film made for kids, and you have to know that going into the movie, or else I believe you will be disappointed. But saying that, it is an enjoyable kid's film. There, It is a fun adventure with some Decently interesting characters, especially Merlin, Alexander, and Alexander's best friends, Betters. And while it's not high, intense, and raw action, it is inventive, especially the training sequences. I don't want to give too much away, but the way they do a typical train, like kind of like a cliche training sequence in this movie, has a little twist on it, and that's really refreshing and it was quite enjoyable. Also, while well, I said there's not too much deep, meaningful conversations, there are the start of those conversations here. There's decent, somewhat social commentary as an explanation and why this villain is coming back. I think you'll either really like that or you'll think it's a little too hokey or too hammer home. Either way, I thought it was good. And another great thing about this film is Merlin. Merlin as a character, anytime he shows up, you're happy to see him, especially as his younger version, which is played by Agnes Imry, I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. But Agnes Imry as Merlin, like I was saying, is spectacular. And the way he does magic in this film is also inventive and new. It's not just waving your hand in a certain way. It's a lot of quick snaps and claps at the same time. And it's also some really weird hand motions, which make the character hilariously awkward anytime he's on screen. But that leads me into the negatives, because while he is amazing anytime he's on screen, Merlin isn't on screen that much, and it also his power level is very inconsistent. He will do one big magical thing and then just be gone for 20 minutes of the movie because he needs to recover his power or recover his strength. Uh, also, he apparently can't be out at night. He can't be in his mortal form at night. Again, it leaves him out of big chunks of the movie, which didn't seem necessary. I know they wanted to focus on the kids, but he was mu the most enjoyable character in my opinion and should have had, had a lot more focus. And speaking of the kids, I know their child actors and they're probably doing their best but some of the performances from those actors are just not great the kid who played lance i can't remember his name but he never really i don't know he never really clicked with me every delivery he gave just seemed uninterested and uninvested same with the girl who played Kay. I, I just think like they were there to just be like the stock bullies and the way that they decide to be on alexander's side again i thought was kind of funny but then it's never really addressed kind of addressed but it just seems more like in-team bickering that, again, is another cliche that if you get a newly formed team, they have to bicker and fight. And in some movies, they do it really well, like the Avengers, but in this movie, it just didn't work. Also, it seemed a bit anticlimactic like they there was one there was two main fights with the main villain of the film and the first one had some decent build up to the fight but then it was just one move and that was pretty much it and then the second one the battle against horde of like zombie villains basically that was again a word i've seen a lot fun and inventive the way they take them out it's kind of like medieval home alone in a school it's weird way to describe it but you'll get it if you see it. But then the fight again with the main villain is just again is real quick. It's really just one main thing they try to do. And that's something else. No, again, this is a, maybe a spoiler, but no kid even gets hurt. Not a scratch on them pretty much the entire film. They get knocked down a couple times, but they don't, they always get right back up seconds later. So it doesn't, there doesn't seem to be real stakes. And uh, more on the kids, there's good development between Alexander and Betters, the two best friends, but not much else. The main villain, you just, she's an evil person, so she's evil. 
Merlin has some pretty good motivations. You understand why he's doing it. And there's something happened that near the beginning of the film that explains why he's kind of behind everything. Like, I won't kind of spoil that because that was kind of a fun surprise, but it does really work well in the film. So I know it seems that I've been dragging on, on this film for a while, but like I said, I did enjoy this film. Even with all the inconsistencies and mistakes, it's still an enjoyable family adventure, an enjoyable kids film. And like I said, that's something you have to know. It is a kids film. Something I didn't mention, it hammers points home a lot. Repeating the same words and phrases several times throughout the film. Cause, again, because it's a kids film, kids don't pick up on subtlety as easily, so it has to be hammered home. Even with all the all my complaining about it and my and the inconsistencies in the film, I still think it's a fun time, especially if you want to go and see like a nice family adventure with your kids. In the end, I'd probably give it a C to a C plus. Like I said, it was good for what it was, but didn't really hit home with me and I didn't really connect with it. So that's what I thought of the film. Let me know what you guys thought of the video, what you thought of the film, and like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification so you know anytime I put a new video up. Thanks everyone and have a great day.